Four years before the manifestation of Jesus, I'm sure Anna the prophetess would have been tired of praying. Till now he's not come. And I can imagine the spirit telling her, continue. Imagine the joy on her face the day they brought a baby. She says, finally, I've seen the consolation. 64 years of prayer, non-stop. How about the man, 38 years? Only God knows how many prophets may have come around him to say, don't worry. One day you are going to meet a Messiah and you'll be healed. He would have thought it was a lie. But finally, Jesus came. We are going to rise up and pray. Please, everybody stand and let's pray for a minute or two. There are three prayer points I'm going to give you and I want you to pray it from the depth of your heart. This is a very prophetic season and I do not want you to be careless. Prayer point number one, you are going to cry for the seeing eye, the hearing ear, capacity to discern what God is doing in your life in this season. Please open your mouth and pray in one minute. Grace, grace, capacity to discern. Someone is praying. Shabalika parakatoska predebeleketos. Capacity to discern what you are doing. Capacity to interpret the writings on the wall. For koinonia, for my life, pray for yourself. Lord, what are you saying? What is the blueprint of your doings for the nation in this season? Reveal to me what is the strategy for victory. In the days that are ahead, call on me and I will answer, he says. I will show you great and mighty things which thou knowest not. Someone is investing a minute to your destiny. You are praying from the depth of your heart. Zaria, pray. Koinonia Global, pray. Following online, pray. Lord, grant me capacity to discern the things that you are saying. To discern the move of the spirit. The wind blow it where it listed. You cannot tell when it's coming or where it is going. So is one who is led of the spirit. Discernment. 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 Give me the eyes to see. Who are the men you are bringing into my life in this season? Give me the grace to discern so I do not throw away Jesus out of the boat. You may throw away Jonah, but don't make a mistake to throw away Jesus. Thinking Jesus is Jonah. Both of them slept. Jesus was sleeping. Jonah was sleeping. You may throw away Jonah, but wake Jesus. Don't throw him out of your boat. Pray for discernment. Lord, how should I do ministry in this season? How should I run my family in this season? Give me the prophetic blueprint for excellence, for dominion. No assumptions. What are you saying in this season? Lead me to the scripture that becomes a compass for me. And the flexibility to follow virgin dimensions in the spirit trusting that they will bring me to my place of destiny in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus the second prayer you are going to pray for grace for obedience of number one obedience to scriptures and obedience to what compliant prophetic instructions please lift your voice and pray obedience having the readiness to judge every disobedience the bible declares if and when your obedience is complete someone is praying in one minute someone is praying grace for obedience let this mind be in you which was also in christ jesus that even though he was God, he considered it not robbery, but he humbled himself to die, even the death on the cross. Wherefore God had so highly exalted him, and given him a name that is above every other name. I like you to pray. Grace to be obedient. Grace to be obedient. Whatsoever he says to do, do. 
Whatsoever he says to say, say. Whatsoever he says to give, give. Wherever he says to go, go. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The final prayer for tonight, you are going to pray for yourself and all who are connected to you. You are going to declare the rod of the wicked shall not rest upon the lot of the righteous either through the ministry of men or through demonic manipulations create a spiritual garrison around your life your ministry oh it will not be lost my bishopric will not be taken someone pray in the name of jesus the lampstand that god has lit with his fire it will remain burning to shine the light to everybody go ahead and pray rebuke the spirit of fear Rebuke the spirit of pride. Rebuke the spirit of complacency. In the name of Jesus, this one thing I do, forgetting the things that are behind, I take away distractions. Someone is praying. In your prayer is the restoration of your prayer life. In your prayer is the restoration of your word study life. In your prayer is the restoration of your passion for the house of God. The disciplines that bring and sustain graces. Pray. Satan, the Lord rebuke you. The spirits of witchcraft, ancestry, manipulators that destroy the longevity of impact. I come against you in the name of Jesus. Shalike Parakatosh Emprakata Parakatosh One minute Pray with fire Pray with passion From within your spirit Cover your children Cover your family Satan You will not take the life of any of my people Satan You will not destroy the relevance of every, anybody around me Decree it and declare Soundness of health, increase in wisdom, longevity of impact. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let me borrow one minute from you and add a prayer point for you. One prayer, I shall not die. Pray it violently for yourself and for your children. Lift your voice and pray. Just do what I'm asking you to do. Decree and declare. No, I shall not die. In the name of Jesus. Declare that your ministry will not die. Declare that your business will not die. It's not only humans that die. What God has given you can be destroyed by Satan. I shall not die. Pray. I shall not die, but live and declare the works of the Lord in this prophetic season. No enchantment, no divination, no weapon no demonic arrow will find expression in my life i stand immune fortified by the blood of the lamb please invest one minute and pray just obey prophetic instructions in the name of jesus christ cover your parents cover your siblings cover your business people cover the people in your ministry in the name of jesus protected by God preserved by God let the mark of the blood be upon you dreams about death dreams of seeing dead people rebuke those dreams right now in the name of Jesus life life 
life even forevermore life vitality health in the name of jesus life i cause the spirit of death pray i cause the spirit of death not by accident not by plane crash not by the activity of wicked men you are immune the eyes of evil will not see you it will not see your children no eye has seen no ear has heard what god has prepared for me so i submit to your work in me till christ be formed in me no eye has seen no ear has heard what god has prepared for me so i submit to his work in me till christ be formed no eye has seen saved now let me speak over your life one last time in the name of Jesus your weak beginning is declared blessed yeah. shout a louder amen. amen the testimonies of favor you have received here and you have heard here in the name of Jesus I speak to you prophetically this week is your turn yeah. I say it again this week is your turn Therefore, all the men, the networks, the relationships, the systems that must align themselves prophetically to see to it that you enjoy the goodness of God this week, let the power of God make it happen for you. I declare fire upon your prayer altar. Passion to study the word. Passion for the house of God. Let the grace of God on your life speak this week. And everything that attempts to fight you goes down your children are blessed the works of your hand blessed in the name of Jesus as for you you will only go forward and upward no bad news no bad report no evil news you are preserved only for honor only for glory only for grace shame is far from your life in Jesus' mighty and matchless name we pray. One key. Hezekiah was at the point of death. Chapter 38 of Isaiah. The word of the Lord came to Isaiah the son of Amos. Go and tell Hezekiah to put his house in order. He will not recover from the sickness. A real prophet. And Hezekiah said, man of God, I honor you, I obey you. You can go. And he turned his face. Where you know what to do, you can listen to people and say, I've heard you. May God bless you. When you close the door, you pick your keys. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? There is a name. Ah! Blind Bartinius. He had been trying many things, but not the key. 
people will pass and he'll say, help me, wicked people. He didn't open the door. One day he learned about the mercy of God. And he said, come now. Let that opportunity come. As soon as Jesus was passing Jericho for the last time, he no longer said, help me. He said, thou son of David, have mercy. The moment Jesus had that mercy, he said, ah, the cross, the cross, mercy. Because when you call mercy, Jesus must stand. Mercy. What should I do for you that I might see? And that was it. That man would have died there. Thou son of David. Do you know when to call him Jesus and when to call him the son of David? Do you know what occasion necessitates? Thou son of David, have mercy on me. I want to walk in exact knowledge. I want to walk in knowledge, spiritual knowledge. Worthy, worthy is the Lamb that was slain, and He has redeemed them, us now, unto God. He says, I, I beheld and I saw a Lamb that had been slain. Weep not, He said, for the Lion of the tribe of Judah, the Root of David, is worthy, qualified to open the book and unlock the scroll. It says, and when I looked, I saw a lamb that had been slain, having seven horns and seven eyes, seven eyes, seven eyes, the Spirit of God, providing for perfect revelation. Seven eyes. Seven eyes. Seven eyes. Apostle, when will I rise? The day the light to lift you comes. Will I rise in August if you want to? Will I rise this April if you want to? Will I rise in May if you want to? The choice is yours. Your addiction to his light is what culminates to your rising. Please hear me as I preach to you. Time will never change anything. It will take light. The entrance of thy word Give it light, not just knowledge, light, and then understanding to the simple. Hallelujah. Something happened to me today that almost brought tears. And I said, God, how many people may never, 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 never be able to experience certain dimensions of your hand simply because of this light that they do not know. You know, many times when I'm praying, truly speaking, I think in the last one month, my prayer life now, I don't even know what to say again. Many times I just kneel down and tears just come out of my eyes. Thank you. Thank you for knowledge. Thank you for knowledge. Thank you for knowledge. Thank you for taking away ignorance. you for taking away ignorance separating me from darkness it's the power of God is someone willing to pray tonight Lord I'm tired of where I am I don't want to lie to myself again I'm tired of this realm there is a dimension in God that he seeks to bring me this can't be it God is so much bigger than this. Yeah, this can't be. God is so much bigger than this. One more time. This can be. Was it not ignorance that caused Cain? If Cain knew how to do it well, he would have gotten it. Cain did it, but he did it wrongly. God is no respecter of persons, but he will respect his ordinances forever. 
there is something we do not know. The Bible says the Lord is nigh them that call upon him. Until you have a broken and a contrite heart. Say, Lord, I've seen this and I thank you. But open my eyes in this area. Is someone desperate to cry tonight? Open my eyes. Open my eyes. Open my eyes. Open my eyes. chapter 3 and verse 4. Please give us an amplified. It's a popular scripture here. You know it. Let's start from verse 3. Habakkuk chapter 3 from verse 3 and 4. It says, God coming from Teman, you know, and the Holy One from Mount Paran. It says, and His glory covered the heavens and the earth was full of His praise. Verse 4 very powerful scripture. It says, and his brightness was like the sunlight. Rays streamed from his hand and there in that light was the hiding place of his power. God's power is hidden in his light. Remember the teaching last week? His divine power has given us all things. But that divine power comes at the instance of the light. So grace and peace is multiplied through knowledge. The greater your knowledge, the greater your exact spiritual illumination. That is the depth and the dimension of power that you will command. The Bible says to be careful lest what you call light be darkness. You can call darkness light for many years. Please open your mouth and cry and say, Lord, damage darkness from my life. Drive it far from my life. Drive it far from my life. Take away darkness from my life. Take away darkness, oh God, from my life. What are you turning to? Listen. Open the eyes of the blind. There's no one like you. Thank you. 
It's my season. I know it is my season because I am ready for life. I know it is my season, next level of ministry because of life. I know it is my season because of life. It is not your season just because of prophecy. It is your season because of life. Enough is enough. It's time to rise. It's time to rise with a testimony that everyone will know that this is the finger of God.
Fasting is ushering into a new season because of the light that is coming and because of what you will do with it. Your heart must be prepared to receive it. Listen, just one spiritual law that is well understood can turn your life around. A law of the Lord will turn your life around. in the Bible that can fight the world. 
one of it is called the traditions of men. It says you have made the world of non effect through the tradition. Tradition. You don't have the flexibility to adjust. This is always how I've been taught. This is how I know it. The Bible says you cannot put new wine in an old wine skin. Lord, do something to my wine skin that will give way so that a new wine skin will come. Lift your voice and pray. I'm tired of the old wine skin. I've exhausted the results that come with the old wine skin. To share the grace, you are just with someone, and he says, Oh boy, we only said amen. No, even me, God knows I don't believe it. You are staggering. Fascinations of your convictions. You believe this today, and by tomorrow, you change. But was strong in faith, giving glory to God. Lord, I challenge unbelief as a spirit. Every word that is coming from you, I, 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 I obtain the faith to receive it. Lift your voice and Those outside, please pray. Those online, pray. I receive the faith. Number three, pride. Pride. The Bible says, I receive with meekness the engrafted word. There is a spiritual quality required to receive meekness. Pride can destroy. Pride can destroy. 
you are going to pray and say, Lord, my heart is open to learn. I receive the heart of a student in this school of the Spirit. Teach me. I'm not too proud to learn. Teach me. Lift your voice and pray. So I brought a small cup to receive. He will fill the cup. There are other people who will bring a drum and say, Lord, I know you can feel it. There are other people who will buy a host and hang it and say, Lord, I'm plugging it from you to me. Not even a drum. Like plugging it to God and plugging it to myself and let everything that can flow flow. Even in the good soil, it gave three kinds of results. 30 fold, 60 fold, 100 fold. It is not the sower. It is the heart that the seed fell on. Lord, it must be 100 fold this time around. It must be 100 fold. I will not be blessed on day three, day five, and day six. I will be blessed from day one to the last day. Last prayer point. Lord, as I'm standing in this conference, every one of my family members, I connect through the power of the bloodline. They must be part of this testimony. Listen, listen. If you are blessed alone, you are still not free. You have to pray that they too may be saved. That God will also bring them. He says, for the promise is unto you and your children, and your children's children, as many as are far off, even they that the Lord will call. The promise is for everybody, not for a few people. So we are going to pray. If you can mention your loved ones by name, I'd like you to mention them and say, Lord, they must be part of this conference in the spirit. As I'm standing, I also agree for a visitation for them. I agree for a visitation for them. for tonight, Genesis 21, verse 1 and 2. May this be someone's testimony. Genesis 
21 from verse 1 and 2. Let's read it together. One to read. And the Lord visited Sarah as had said. And the Lord did to Sarah as he has spoken. Next verse. For Sarah conceived and bare Abraham a son in his old age. At when the third time which the Lord had spoken, there is a third time. That's the key word. It's not just that the answer came, but that the answer came at the third time. He said, Thou shalt arise and have mercy upon Zion for the time to favor her. Yea, the third time. This is the last prayer. Lord, I declare that this is my third time. Do to me like you have spoken. Do to me like you have spoken. I declare that this is my set time. Do to me like you have spoken. Do to me like you have spoken. This is my set time. This is my set time. For those of you who travel from far, I'd like you to pray from the depth of your heart. Do to me like you showed me in the vision. Do to me like you spoke through your servant. Father, in the name that is above all names, we decree and we declare that these seven days will be seven days of fire. Will be seven days of true revival. Will be seven days of a strange dispensing of the mysteries of the kingdom. We call them seven days of strange wonders. We call them seven days of divine visitation. Seven days of supernatural shifts. Seven days of encounters. Let me tell you sincerely, the kind of encounters that many of you will have these seven days will be what you have just had people say they used to have. I have prayed this and I have agreed with God for strange angelic visitations all kinds of prophetic visitations. And the angel came to Daniel and Gabriel came to Mary. The ministry of angels in this conference that God is opening you up, taking you to realms and dimensions by the Spirit. Hallelujah. We bless you. Lord, we decree and declare let no flesh be glorified throughout this prayer time. We agree for those who are coming still on their way. And Lord, we pray in the name of Jesus that you will honor yourself, you will honor your name even in this prayer retreat. We commit every session to your hand. And Lord, we pray that it will be profitable in the name of Jesus. We obtain the grace to fast. We obtain the grace to pray. In the name of Jesus. We also obtain the grace to receive. We receive the grace for open eyes. We receive the grace for open ears. We receive the grace for an enlightened heart. We receive the grace for performance. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. Give Jesus praise. Hallelujah.